Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe. Today I want to make a short video about five small improvements for your workshop that you can buy for under $20 on AliExpress. So, no CNC machines, just really simple small little tools. So not everybody likes AliExpress, and this is fine. I like to save on the smaller things so that I have money to buy uh, bigger machines like this. So number one on the list is actually a really simple scale. It's around four dollars and it's very precise. Uh, this, is, this is in grams and I use it to glue up uh, knife handles. I use it all the time, it just takes the guessing out of the equation. For those four dollars you can't go wrong. The second item on the list is a welding magnet and I got two of them in a set for fifteen dollars. So these welding magnets you can use them to square off uh, stuff before you weld them together like this but what I actually use it mostly for is for grinding knife blades like this and if I want to flatten down a piece of metal I can easily uh, flatten it down it's uh, super sturdy and it's easy to remove as well Still one of my best finds on AliExpress is number three on the list and it's this mist blower. You've seen it many many times through one of my videos. I even had a separate video about it. It's around five to six dollars. For me as a knife maker this cooling is really important because if I have an oyster knife like this I want to work quickly. I want to grind it after I've done heat treatment but I don't want to overheat the blade and adding lots of water on it, compressed air it cools down the blade and it makes me able to go uh, and work more quickly, go grind longer without having to bunk it in a bucket of water every time. For, so for me it's a really useful tool. But as I said, I also use it on a mill to uh, do coolant, do it on a CNC router to blow away metal chips, stuff like that. Really easy to, really ha uh, a really useful tool. So I have an ultrasonic cleaner and I use it a lot for cleaning grease, anodizing, etching, stuff like that. So if you want something clean, you really want an ultrasonic cleaner. That's too expensive for this video. Uh, so I bought a cheap one, which is still around 100 euros, and the heating element sucks. And the solution is this. So this is a $4 500 watts heating element. And in China they use it to dip into a cup of tea so that you can make uh, a one cup cup of tea with, uh, in a hotel, stuff like that, if you don't trust the boiler there. So this is awesome, it's just power heating. Uh, and what I do is I put them into the ultrasonic cleaner and I use them as an additional heating element next to the he heating element that's already in the cleaner. I use the temperature control from, uh, from the cleaner so I can see how hot it is and when it's there I need to plug it out. But it's so easy to get things to 80 degrees Celsius if I want to clean, st cl uh, clean stuff up and it makes etching and anodizing so much quicker so really helpful tool as well so this is the CNC router I have it's a Workbee from Oznes once again way too expensive to be featured in this video I've got some other videos about it but what I want is a CNC router that I can run and go away because I have a full-time job, I have a side job, uh, the thing needs to do its thing and I don't need to babysit it all the time. And for that I have actually three items that fill in position five. It is a firebomb, uh, which is $17, a electric timer switch off, which is around $5, and an IP webcam over here. And these together are a system. So first of all, the timer. When I plug it in in the morning I can say like one minute two minute uh, one hour two hour three hour four hour I can uh, I can know how long my program needs to run and it will shut down all electrical systems when the time is up uh, so that I don't need to come back to power down everything the second one is the IP camera and it has a very nice smartphone app which I can follow um, how the machine is doing if the workpiece is still intact everything's okay, bits been broken, stuff like that. I can monitor it in real time, which is really, really great. 
uh, I can control the, uh, the the laptop that controls the work week. So if there would be a problem, I could pause it on demand. But I am once again not always able to watch it my phone, and that's why there is a extra extra backup, and that's this thing over here. So this is a fire extinguisher ball. It hangs in the work week, and once it gets too hot, I now think it's 73 degrees, it will explode with CO2 powder and because everything's in an enclosure, it should put out all flames, cool everything down, and then it would uh, stop a fire. So that would mean that the work bee would be killed, it would be done, it would be over, but yeah, that's a business decision that you have to make. I don't do this for first runs on parts, I like to do this on uh, parts I run multiple times where I know the coordinate system where I know the code and then I can just uh, Put it on run the first 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes and then go to my day job And that's because of the system of three, these three things So once again the disclaimer um, Having these hacks these small little things they can be really useful but you have to take care of what you do. You can't buy your safety goggle or your respiratory safety from AliExpress. I really think you should do that from a local store, which is a well-known brand. Uh, and the same with sandpaper and sanding disc. It will suck if you buy it from AliExpress because it's too cheap. But for simple little things like the five uh, items I just showed you, they can be really, really helpful upgrades to your workshop. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe uh, or watch one of, one of my other videos and uh, have a nice day. Thank you very much.